Hey there everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So I am back at it trying to uh, go for this world record shot. I've increased my PSI a little bit on my rifle to about 3100, 3200 PSI. And I'm getting this zipping out there at about 900 feet per second. I'm using the cold shot uh, adjustable base here. That's basically the angle of the gun. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. I can barely see the target. I'm almost like looking through the barrel. Um, with the parallax adjustment set pretty much at infinity, I'm using the, uh, the blurriness of the barrel to actually act as a reference point to make sure I've got everything lined up. So last 20 shots I've taken, I've either hit right at the beach or on the beach. I've got a little bit of a uh, skim ice. It got below freezing last night, and so there's a little bit of skim ice on the uh, on the lake, which is kind of nice. It keeps the waves down, so I can see in the uh, in the spotting camera back there. Here we go, 1,275 yards. Let's see what we can do. Okay, okay. I think uh, we've reached land, <laughs> land ho! Oh. Saw a little bit of a splash in the upper right, and I am holding over, I'm at six mil dots, which is on the TMX reticle, it's the very bottom line. Um, so I am actually holding just about as much as this scope will allow for. see it. No, no water splash. I didn't see any dirt. I'm assuming I'm getting to land because I'm not seeing any water, but I'm not, I'm not seeing any dirt. The sun has definitely gone away for the winter, so.
All right, I'm not seeing any. Got no water. I can't see dirt. I can't, I can't see anything. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna review the scope cam, the scope cam footage. I'm not hitting water. I saw one splash of dirt. I'm assuming I'm hitting, I'm hitting land. So um, I'm gonna check the scope cam, see how we're looking. Okay, so I reviewed the scope cam footage and I'm definitely hitting. I was able to uh, zoom in on the scope cam footage and I hit upper right. I hit once to the left. Um, I think I actually hit a couple more times up there. I wasn't able to catch it all on the, uh, I wasn't able to see it, but I, I, not any, I must seen any water. So, and actually had two shots came really, really close. One right below it and then one um, right below and kind of to the left. So th the problem is I can't see anything. I can't see splashes. I can't see, I'm just basically shooting in the dark. So since I'm, I know that I've got the uh, proper MOA setting, I'm gonna move the target in a little bit actually there's a stump out there so I'm gonna bring it in so I can use those water splashes to kind of walk it up back up to the target and so I, I can actually tell because hitting on the land I, I, I'm not seeing any dirt splashes or anything it's so humid and it's been raining and snowing it's you're not getting any kind of dust uh, feedback so um, the water is the be best way for me to see where I'm hitting so that's why I've got the paddle the uh, life vest we're gonna hit the kayak move the target, I'm gonna move it forward about 30 yards, and uh, I think we're on it because, man, that setting right there, 480 MOA, and I was at about, uh, probably about six, the very bottom line, six, uh, what do you call it, six mil dots down, and about three holding for the wind over. So, um, all right, let's go move this target. All right, here we go. Okay, so once I paddled out to the island, um, I was actually just looking around the target to see if I could see where any of the impact spots were. And sure enough, I was able to uh, recover the bullet from the shot that was up and to the right from the target. So pretty cool, I've got a souvenir. So I found a perfect stump uh, right there off the island to put the gong target. And it's great, the uh, skim ice has uh, melted off since this morning. There was only just a little bit there. So now we've got complete open water. A little concerned about uh, the scope cam is really starting to pick up a lot more mirage uh, heat waves coming up off now it's open water. So it's getting a little bit more difficult to see this target at 1200 plus yards. So we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I grabbed the target, moved it in. There's a nice stump, it's got some brush up on it. Was able to set the gong target in there. And uh, so it's about probably 30 yards closer than it was before. We'll, we'll pull out Google Earth and we'll uh, calculate the true distance. So, um, so anyway, 480 MOA on the base. I'm at six uh, mil dots. I'm going to try to probably I'm gonna start right at zero and I'm going to start walking it in there on these shots. Get up, baby. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. That was so close. Oh my God, I'm on it, baby. I am on it. Yeah, baby, it moved! Oh my god, 
I saw it move. Oh my god, I freaking saw it. Holy <laughs> Yes! Yeah! <laughs> World record, baby! Oh my god, 1,200 and something yards! <laughs> oh my god! Holy sh! Oh my god, okay. All right, back on the kayak we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I checked the scope cam and the target definitely moved. I saw a look like a bit of a splash behind it. Um, we'll review the footage later, but the, the, the target definitely moved. So um, it's too windy to be flying the drone over water. I just don't want to lose my drone. So um, we're going to take the kayak out there and uh, all right, here we go. Yeah, baby. A new world record. That's got it's the original position. That's now, we'll do a Google Earth. That's gotta be 1250-ish. Yeah, baby. The fact that I was able to hit that at 1200 plus yards is absolutely amazing. If you look at the, the shape of this hole here, that trajectory is basically coming down. What would that be like this? Like that. So basically the trajectory of that bullet is almost coming straight down, but man, there it is. <laughs> New world record. I'm done. That's it. No more. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for everybody for uh, following me along on this long journey. Air Gun Depot is what really set this whole journey on with the uh, Long Ranger contest going towards the uh, world record. And uh, so I thanks everybody over at Air Gun Depot. Thank you to Hawk Scopes. Um, th this, this scope is amazing. Uh, it's just the TMX reticle. I couldn't have done it without, without it. Hunter Supply, the, the tune on that gun just basically turned the Air Force Texan uh, 357 into a totally different gun. It was a great gun to start with, but now it's a, it's a laser beam shooter. Thank you for uh, to a High Arc Hunter. I mean, it's the bullet that did it all. So Ron, thanks man. Thanks so much for all the phone calls and the texts and the advice and all that geeking out about ballistics. So thanks Ron. Thank you to Air Force Air Guns. Man, you guys make an awesome product. Thank you so much for the making the Air Force Texan. And uh, man, I'm probably forgetting all kinds of people. I've been collaborating with the, so many people in the industry. So thank you to everybody. Man, I am ready for a beer. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks again. Again, this is Chris with uh, Up North Air Gunner. Thanks a lot.